So in the previous video, we tried to estimate the area between the curve and the x-axis of y is equal to x squared plus 3 using rectangles. Okay? And in this video, we're going to try and use trapeziums instead. So I'm going to split it up in a similar way. I'm going to split it up into 0, 1, and 2. Okay? Or 0, 1, 2, and 3, and 4, rather. Okay? So much in the same way that we did it last time. But instead, what we're going to do is instead of using uh, rectangles, we are going to join up the end points of each of these blocks and create trapeziums. Okay, I'm going to try and do this fairly accurately. Now what you may or may not be able to see is that each of these bars okay, is going over the top of the curve. So although they are matching the curve quite closely, okay, much, cl much more closely than the uh, rectangles did in the previous example, um, you can still see that what we were getting is an overestimate. Okay? But Let's see what we get. So the area is approximately, well, uh, the area of a trapezium, if we think back to GCSE, is A, B, and H, for example. Okay? The area of a trapezium is equal to one half H times A plus B. Okay? So the area of this trapezium is one half times h. Now h is the width of each strip, so one times by a plus b. Now a is the side and b are the side lengths. So in this case, it's three and four. Okay, so that's the first one plus a half times the width times, well, we've got 4 plus 7 this time. And then we've got, for this one, well, we've got 1 half times h, so 1, times by 7, plus uh, 12, is the next one, so 7 plus 12. And the last one, 1 half times h, times, well, that one, is 12 and that one's 19 so 12 plus 19 okay now if I add those all together I will get my area now what you should notice here is that um, in each of these cases I've got some similarities I've got the fact that I've got a half out the front of each of them and I've also got the same strip width, okay? So I could factor those bits out. I could factor out the half, and I could factor out the one, and what I've got left is three plus four, plus four plus seven, plus seven plus 12, plus 12 plus 19. Okay. Now, we should also be thinking, oh, well, here I've got 4 coming up twice, and 7, and 12. Okay. So, in fact, all of those middle bars appear twice. It's just the end ones that appear once. So, what I could do is I could write that as 1 half times 1 times the first plus the last plus 2 lots of the rest. So 4 plus 7 plus 12. Okay? So I could then pop that into my calculator. So starting with a 4 plus 7 plus 12, and then times it by 2, and then adding the 19 and the 3, and then halving it. Okay? And I get 34. So the approximate area is 34 units. 
Now this process of going from there through to there and there and then getting my answer, you might be wondering, well, why has he done that? Why has he done that? Well, this is really to um, show you where this is leading. Because what we're going to do in the next video is construct the trapezium rule. Okay, And this is exactly what I've done here. I've put it into exactly the format that the trapezium rule uses. So you can see exactly where this formula is going to come from. We're going to do it more generally in the next video. And then we're going to see an example of it.